Evidently, Russian super yachts are completely disappearing as they set course across the ocean. Could these ships be haunted, lost in the Bermuda Triangle, or are they just illegally hiding due to international sanctions, snatching up yachts left and right? Spoiler alert, it's definitely that last one. Ever since Russia's massively unpopular invasion of Ukraine in 2022, international sanctions have specifically targeted Russian oligarchs in an attempt to do personal damage to the most powerful in the country in order to bring the invasion to an end. One massively successful way international governments have doled out emotional damage has been to seize their multi-million dollar super yachts in marinas all over the world. Those include some of the most impressive yachts to ever hit the waves. For starters, we have the Amadea, a 348-foot vessel belonging to billionaire Suleiman Karimov. It features a helipad, an infinity pool, a jacuzzi, and multiple bars. This impounded masterpiece is valued at over $300 million. Then there's the Tango, which was seized by Spanish authorities in April due to its owner, Victor Veskelberg, having close ties to Vladimir Putin himself. The $90 million vessel, which was reportedly bought through shell companies, features seven staterooms along with a pool, a gym, and a beauty salon. Though it doesn't look like anyone will be using those amenities anytime soon. Then we have the Lady M, which was seized by Italian authorities. Its owner is Russian billionaire Alexei Mordashov, reportedly the most successful in the country with a net worth of over $20 billion. He lost this absolute beauty that's worth $27 million, but he can't be too upset about it. That's because he also owns the $500 million 464-foot superyacht known as Nord. It has two helipads and its own waterfall. Luckily for him, his number one yacht is safe back home in Russia. Other seized ships include the $8 million 132-foot superyacht Lena, the $120 million 289-foot Amore Vero, and the $140 million 279-foot Valerie. So with massively expensive superyachts getting snatched up left and right, what does a Russian oligarch with a yacht passion do to protect his ship? Well, he makes it disappear, of course. Just ask Andrei Melnichenko, Russian oligarch, founder of Eurochem Group, and officially persona non grata. He was once regarded as one of the top 100 richest men in the world, with a net worth of over $15 billion. As far as his billionaire lifestyle goes, he's well known for his incredible yachts. His finest is by far the Sailing Yacht A. It stands at 469 feet and is said to be worth around $580 million. More than that, its blade-like design and its status as the largest sail-assisted yacht in the world has earned it the label as a disruptor in the yacht community. It was seized in Italy earlier this year. At about the exact same time, his other yacht went dark. The Motor Yacht A is the Sailing Yacht A's sister vessel, with similarly impressive credits to its name. It has the blade-like design, stands at 390 feet, and is said to be worth over $300 million. It features its own garage slash nightclub, and is a smooth ride that won't leave much of a wake even at the top speed of 23 knots. Once its sister yacht was taken into custody, this ship disabled its AIS. In case you didn't already know, AIS stands for Automatic Identification System. It's the official system that reports a vessel's identification, course, current position, and speed. Disabling it is highly illegal, but there's simply no way to hide a yacht with it still active. The Motor Yacht A left Dubai on March 4th and went dark somewhere in the Arabian Sea. No one knows where it made port. Then we have the super yacht known as the Galactica Supernova, which is officially the coolest yacht name ever. It is owned by Russian oil magnate Vajit Alekperov. It went dark that same week on March 2nd when the AIS was deactivated once it left Montenegro. It is officially listed as out of range, but I think we all know what that means by now. 
Not all of these yachts are just in danger of being taken out of the water, though. Some of them appear to be in danger of being sunk beneath the waves. For that story, we've got to go to Mallorca, where a Ukrainian mechanic reportedly tried to get revenge on a famous Russian oligarch, Alexander Mikiev. The story goes that once the mechanic saw footage from the invasion of his home country, he became understandably enraged at the CEO who exports Russian weapons. While standing before a judge, the engineer recounted everything he did in order with no regrets whatsoever. He boarded the Lady Anastasia and opened a large valve in the engine room. Then he opened another valve in the crew compartment. Finally, he closed the fuel valves and cut off the electricity so he could safely get everyone off of the ship in case of a fire. The harbor staff managed to prevent the vessel from sinking entirely, but it certainly certainly sank enough to do extensive damages. The mechanic himself was released by the judge pending trial, but he stated that his intention was to return home to join the conflict and protect his homeland. So now these Russian yachts aren't just hiding from sanctions, but from their own engineers as well. Of course, there's a completely different strategy a person could use rather than hiding a yacht. I mean, you could station a ton of guards around the yacht, practically daring anyone to bring on an Alamo-esque showdown right on the marina. That would, hypothetically of course, be a strategy you could imagine someone like, I don't know, say Vladimir Putin using if he had his own yacht. Now, it definitely needs to be said that the Scheherazade is definitely not owned by Vladimir Putin. Despite the fact that workers, the media, and anyone who has ever seen the yacht has speculated that it's owned by Putin, the captain has denied that Putin owns or has ever been on board the vessel. Seeing as Putin is definitely not the kind of person who engages in this kind of extreme subterfuge in every aspect of his life, the owner of this 289-foot, $700 million six-deck vessel remains a mystery. If you were to assume that this ridiculously opulent vessel, which has been described as an apartment complex or a city on the sea, belongs to this Russian leader, that would be entirely up to you. Of course, the fact that the vessel was reportedly run by over 40 members of the FSO and FSB, two Russian secret services, doesn't help anything. Once Russian yachts started getting seized all over the world, things just got more mysterious. The entire crew left for military service and were replaced by an entirely British workforce. Not only that, but the ship is now being patrolled by heavily armed guards. Apparently, no one can even approach the vessel due to this unprecedented level of security. Despite the fact that the Italian government has been pressured to seize the vessel, everyone seems kind of frightened to touch it. Again, none of this points to Vladimir Putin in any way whatsoever. Russia has reportedly lost over $600 billion due to sanctions. Even so, these yacht seizures may hurt even worse.